Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Clockwork Empires. What the heck is that? A, ge a, ge a geometer canopic jar? What is that? How odd. What could this do? It's a forbidden artifact. It folds and refolds in impossible ways. Huh. wonder what we do with it. A crude vessel of some sort of some sort formed sorry of a dense dark ceramic. I, well, I have no idea. I don't know what to do with it. Alright, anyway, let's read on, ladies and gentlemen here. Survival isn't just about food, of course. You need safety as well. First, a good place for everyone to sleep. Up until now we've been building workshops, but there are other categories of buildings. Under housing at the bottom, you should find the laborer's bunkhouse. These are a good choice for an early colony. Just build them, plop a bunch of beds in, and your citizens will in will in decent shape. What? And your citizens will in decent shape. I don't know what that means. Fine. Remember that unlike simple modules, cots need to be boxed in a workshop before they can be constructed. You'll need to build an assembly workbench in your carpentry workshop to make them. I've already done all this stuff because I'm ahead of the game. Housing has another important function. It allows you to get immigrants. For every lower class house you build, you will receive additional workers. For every middle class house you build, you'll receive additional overseers. Cool. Immigrants will arrive once every few days. It might not be a bad idea to consider building a middle class house if you find your labor frequently bottlenecked. Build a house with at least one cot and complete survival three to continue. And survival three. Lastly, as far as safety is concerned, you need, of course, military might. While your colonists can engage in combat, they are untrained and very weak compared to the dangers of the frontier. Soldiers are a must. Under buildings, foreign outreach, you'll find the barracks. Overseers assigned to this building will become members of the military and slowly train up from lowly brown coats to mighty red coats. Make sure to keep your military well staffed with lower class members as well. You never know what dangers lurk out there in the wilderness. To continue with the tutorial, build a barracks and assign at least one lower class worker to a barracks overseer. What do, what do those do? Um, so why do we have to assign a worker to that? That's interesting. Like, I'm okay with it, but it's still weird. Okay. We have crop damage. What? Some wild animals will strayed into your farmland and are eating your crops. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for that. All right, guys. As you're, like, freaking out quite excessively, I'm going to go and place down a building for you guys to sleep in. So housing's at the bottom. You need to do a laborer bunkhouse. Oh, I wanted to do something at the bottom down here. Well, you know what? The bunkhouse can go right over here. I'm totally okay with that. We'll do 9 by 7... Let's do a 9x6. We'll say done. We're going to go to modules. We're going to add the door. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5. That's where the door goes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. That is where the door goes. And we do have cots. And apparently... We can place them, but I don't know if we can get around them if we do place them. I, I assume there's enough room for them to get past. We'll see. That's two, four, six, eight. That's not enough. We need ten beds. Well, technically, we need more than ten, but we need... Um, the cots are for the lower class. We need to build a, the next tier up for the upper class, if I'm not wrong. So, what do we need to do to build this? We need bricks. In order to get bricks, we need to build a ceramics workshop. In order to build a ceramics workshop, we don't really have anything. Alright, so th that's, that's where we're at right now. Alright, that's fine. So hopefully our, our people will stop freaking out a little bit. 
Let's see, foreign outreach. We can build a barracks, frontier exploration. We can build a mine, public services. A public house, a place of drinking and good cheer. Supplies booze to your thirsty workers at the end of the long day and keeps them happy and productive. We could probably do that right next to the kitchen. Let's see why not. A lot of people are maddened by despair. It's it's not great. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and throw this into the front. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, did I do it wrong? I think I did it wrong. So one, two, three. And there and then one two yeah I did it wrong so this is a six by is it six by five sighting of fish people what one two three four five six oh, that's a six by six I 100% did this wrong all right let's see if we can't do it correctly this time since I uh, apparently am terrible at my uh, my job here I wanted to go five by seven. No, you know what? Five by five is fine. I think. Let's go. F let's go more. Let's go. Let's go seven by six. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Let them get back to it now. What do you mean sighting fish people? Levetha Wood Temper uh, reported sighting a strange, fishy-looking creature. It walked upright like a human, and its eyes gleamed with a weird intelligence. What shall we do? It was probably a bird or an oddly shaped tree. I certainly didn't see anything. Oh, these inhuman fish monsters shot on sight. Sergeant to arms! I'm going to say nothing right now because I don't know where this happened. Oh my god, you're so far away. And hopefully the fish monsters are not eating us. you got to stop with the panic running. Like, that's really going to be super detrimental to us. You're like harvesting things over here. I don't know what that's all about. But whatever. Alright, they're gonna sleep in there. We have the, the corn and stuff going. That's fine. Guess we can dismiss that alert. Productivity, we can dismiss. Okay. So why are... Why is no one in the bed? How, do, how does this work? Uh, laborer cap bonus, we get up to five now as opposed to just two. Home for the laborers adds a base plus two laborer population capacity. Okay. What was that? Building has no door. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. All right, so to do two windows, three cots, and a quality of four or better. We need windows, apparently. Alright, so... We were doing this for the... Laborer bunkhouse. We need some windows. Alright, we'll do a couple windows on either side, I suppose. And that should help, and then over on this side, we need a door, but we need it for... Uh, what are we building? We're building the... Not like the public house, there it is. There we go. And now what we need to do as well is go into buildings, go into foreign... Is it exploitation? I don't know, it's foreign outreach. We need to build a barracks. Uh, the barracks I'm going to want to be over here. I sort of want it to be pretty large, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get it to be super large yet. So we're going to cancel that. We're going to go with the uh, flattening of the area. And we're going to flatten pretty much all of this. Once that's done, then we'll be able to continue on with our little adventure. Our little journey, as it were. And we'll be feeling pretty good at that point. Our food supply is not really holding out. Got some native gold. We have some stuff. Oh, we're okay. Tobias, what are you doing here, buddy? Just 
Got bored? Figured you'd st Oh, you're eating some food. Okay. Whatever, buddy. What are you doing? What? Like, what is the item that you have? Do you really have to be that close to that tree? Why do you have a box caught way over here? I don't understand. You were just bored and you figured that you... What are you doing? Araya, dude, what are you... What are you doing? Stop doing things that you're not... You just felt like dropping the cot off over there for no reason. Oh my goodness. Because why not, right? Because why not? Alright, modules. What were we looking at here? We're looking at the public house. Do we have any of the things that we can do? The booze vat? We can't do that yet. Still, we have the building there. That's kind of important, so I'll take it. Are you guys done flattening the land? No. What are you doing? Come on, guys. You gotta get to work. Like... Most of you are just randomly wandering around doing nothing. Tobias is just like, yeah, got the windows installed. I'm just chilling at this point. Ain't no thing. Oh, they're freaking out. Come on, guys. Don't give in to despair completely. These amenities have not been built. Construct the indicated modules or fulfill the conditions to gain. What do you mean? Yes, they have. We have two windows. We have three cots. What? Did, what? Did, what in the world are you talking about? Like, do I need more windows? I'm like, I mean, that's fine, but it's weird. If you want, I mean, we can add more windows to this thing, but I don't think it's going to change anything. Alright, let's see if we can't get the folks to do their job. Oh, goodies. Okay, it's done, right? More crop damage. Wonderful. Alright, so now, now we can build ourselves the, the barracks. And the barracks is going to be pretty large. We'll go 13 by 9. There we go. Done. Do we have enough wood? I don't think we do. We're going to have to go and chop down some more trees. We are going to have to build a door once upon a time. I think the door is perfectly fine right there. We need to go over here. Chop down some more trees. Chop down even more trees. And that should do it. All right, folks, get back to your jobs. And then we'll need to assign an overseer once that's actually built. So the assignment subtask. So gather the building materials, construct, construct the module, gather. Okay. It's fine. Why are you guys just like walking cots around? I don't understand what you're doing. I don't get it. I think it's this Uriah steel whatever. Steel thatch is just like, Meh, I want to do this. And then he does it. It's like, dude, settle down. Did we build any of the windows yet? Modules are under construction. Oh, you know what? We don't have any of the, the planks. Oh, okay. All right, well, that makes sense then, at least a little bit. All right, so what we're going to want to do is... We're going to want to go with planks, and we're going to want to have a minimum of... I don't know, I'd say maybe ten planks is going to be okay. And that should allow us to finish building what we need to build. Theoretically, anyway. All right, so that's that. Somebody's enraged? Well, what does that mean? She will not work until she has calmed down. 
Stop trying to pick fight with pe fights with people, man. Come on. Settle down, Lucinda. There's food to be had. There's cots to be slept in. I mean, there's farming to do. There's just no reason to be upset. Why is she so mad? Uh, work conditions. Improve the quality of her workplace. Satisfied due to recently founding the colony. Cinda is in a rage and will not work until she's calmed down. Well, that sounds about right. And a deer just scampered across our thing. That's wonderful. Oh, did we build the first bed? So what's the what's the problem? Like he's stuck. Like he's clearly stuck, right? So so what what is what has happened to him? Did something happen with the door or is like is this cot thing just not going to work? Well, okay. I, I didn't really mean to save there. I was just trying to back out a little bit there. Uh, maybe I'm going to add another door, because, like I said, I, I feel like he's stuck, and I don't think that he can get past. I don't know what his problem is. He's just freaking out here on us. Alright, so let's get rid of the options menu there. Let's go to... It's not a kitchen, it's a bunkhouse. A laborer bunkhouse. Let's go ahead and add a door over here, too. See how that works out. I don't. I don't have any idea if it's going to work or not. But whatever's going on, he cannot come and or go. It's really weird. Lots of very strange stuff going on. I can't seem to figure out what's going on. Why we can't get that door built or any of that. Oh, looks like she's coming to do the door. Oh, maybe... Maybe not. I don't... I don't know what's happening. Just dropping off trees, I guess. Someone please do something. We have planks laying around. I mean, it's not like we're, we're out of planks. Is there a way to undo the modules? Dismantle the modules, okay. Okay, so theoretically that should work. So apparently he just got stuck, so there's no way to pass through if we do it the other way. Alright, that's fine. So I guess that will only hold three. Now the beds and everything else are getting made. Alright, cool. So things are starting to move again. You always gotta figure out what small problem has popped up that's causing you issues. Uh, they still haven't finished building yet? We have six out of, an, of uh, out of a possible five assignments that we can actually use right now. It's a little awkward, not gonna lie. Alright, so things are starting to move now. Alright, and then the windows should be built, so we could probably even go through and remove the uh, additional windows that we don't need. The window on either side. Actually, I don't know that we can actually install those. We'll see. We'll see if we can. Alright, Araya Steel Thatch is finishing up what he's supposed to be doing over there. And that is done. Good job, Tobias. Have you calmed down? Lucinda, you have. Alright, good. And this was our kitchen? It was. Oh, what happened? Seth? Couldn't make it inside, buddy? Good, our, our laborers are there. We're sleeping on. Colonists prefer beds to the floor. Yeah, yeah, generally speaking, most people do. Not all, mind you, but most people. All right, I feel pretty good about this. Things are starting to kind of pick up a little bit here. It looks like we're about to do the, uh... Oh, 
Seth and Lucinda are going to talk? Are they going to be cordial to each other? Or are they going to get upset? Stomped due to rage. Good. Now, can you guys build the window, or is, it, is that just too difficult? What are you doing? Uh-oh. What does that mean? Empire withholds immigration? What? Due to your exceedingly low standing, the Empire is withholding potential immigrants from your colony. Use a foreign office to recover relations. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There's crop damage, so all sorts of bad stuff is happening so far, but that's okay. I mean, like I said, this is my first hands-on experience, guys and gals. I'm bound to make a ton and a half of mistakes. Like, I don't think we need a stockpile... Well, four stockpiles. Maybe you could have done with one. Maybe two. I don't really think it matters that much. It just kind of limits what we can do right now. Alright, is this thing done yet? It is. Alright, so that's finished. You can now assign an overseer. And it looks like Lucinda is the most qualified. But she's also the most qualified at carpentry as well. So she's not going to be the person. Stoneworking, it looks like Uriah, you're going to be it, my friend. Now, do we have... How many workers do we have? We still only have two laborers. We need a third one to get moving. Ah, technically we don't. Let's go to the overseers. Let's see here. We pulled the farming one's fine. We don't need the kitchen person anymore, so let's go ahead and throw this to... Uriah. Okay. So that should change. What's with the fist? He's enraged. Why are you enraged, buddy? Alright, so... I guess we did this? I click to dismiss, and let me dismiss it. I click to read, continue. One lower class worker to the barracks. I did that as well. Survival is complete. You have completed. Go ahead and right-click the old those old tutorials to dismiss them. I'm trying, but it's not working. Oh, it, it is. It just didn't work due to the fact that it was paused. All right. Happiness. The last major element you need to know about your colony is your citizens themselves. Your overseers have moods, and the less happy they are, the less work they'll do each day. And if they're upset enough, they may also exhibit strange and harmful behavior. While you can't control every whim of your colonists, you can help keep them happy in a variety of ways. Quality of food, quality of lodgings, and building buildings like the chapel or pub will help you here. You can click on your citizens to check up on their status at any time. There's a lot to find out. Let's read Happiness 2 to find out more. A high quality workplace and housing are one of the simplest ways to keep your overseers happy. Work modules and bed crowding decrease the quality of a building making it a less pleasant place to work and live the core mod modules okay which to, uh, which increase quality can be built to offset this the building's total total quality can range between minus six and plus six higher quality means happier workers the quality of a module is listed in the tooltip in the module menu all quality boosting modules are built with a special resource Br what is that brick -a -bra? which can be made in various different workshops. Experiment with decor and make your columns as happy as can be. Get a building quality to level four or plus four to finish the tutorial. You can check on a building's quality level by opening its control panel and then looking at the bottom for quality. Mouse over it for even more details. Cool. All right, I need to assign an overseer to it. All right, so I've done all these things. It's fine, yeah, I know. It's not great. All right, so that being done, foreign outreach, foreign exploitation. With these buildings, the wonders of the frontier are, sorry, frontier exploitation. Are yours the seas like mining? Okay. Foreign outreach. Okay. So now we actually have a soldier, sort of, but eh. Whoa, 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 what's going on? What were you doing? Military training. Oh, okay. 
I don't know if we need to do, like, more stuff to get military training going, like, appropriately or what? Oh, gosh, Tobias is running off into the, the boonies again. Well, we found out a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a turtle. That's crazy. Okay, uh, we're going to get a quality of four or better. And right now our quality is at minus five. So we need to make decor modules. And in order to do any of this stuff, we need to do a lot of other various random things. It looks like we can't do that until increase the building and improve the mood of those who live with you. Require a stained glass window from the ceramics workshop. So basically, we need to build a ceramics workshop. For any and all decor right now, that is what we need. So I think I'm going to place it right over here next to this other one. So we're going to go to workshops. We're going to go to ceramics workshop. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap. And then we're going to probably go 6 by 5 I want to say. We'll say we're done with that. And we'll get that going. Then we're going to go into modules. We'll do a door for the ceramics workshop. And there it is. And there is our lovely little town. It is blossoming. It is burgeoning. It is getting quite a bit better as time progresses. We're going to forge over here because why not? And then we're also going to clear the terrain over here, because also, why not? And yeah, we're going to get some of this stuff taken care of and removed. I feel like our terrain over here is just not quite where it should be. I don't know if we can fix that or what. I wouldn't mind getting all this stuff kind of cleared out a little bit at least. There we go. Make some jobs, get some happiness and stuff going. I know our people are freaking out a little bit. Like, how's the training coming along? Because I feel like it's not really working that well. Slept lavishly, okay. Feels recklessly endangered, well fed. Typical workplace, pleasantly sparse, okay. Killed some wild game, huh. She had a conversation about the daily grind. She had a pleasant chat. Daily grind, daily grind. Angry, angry, angry. Monarchy, blah, blah, blah. Bad stuff. Bad stuff in general. Well, if nothing else, we'll be able to get the ceramics going soon. And we'll be able to get some more stuff going. It looks like we... I have two out of... Two out of six. I don't know if they're gonna... Whoa, whoa. Oh no, it just. Oh, the one I wanted to read was gone. Oh, that's sad. No longer enraged. That's good, at least. Something important was there, and I went to click it, and it, like, dismissed the thing right before it, and then it moved it or something? I don't know. It wasn't great. However, we are still getting stuff handled, so. It is what it is, I suppose. You don't seem very good at your job. The witnessed construction. Like, are you able to... Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out, I suppose. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for episode 3. The ceramics workshop is built. We can add the modules to it. The door still needs to be finished. We're pretty close to it. And you know what? I think I will add to the, the whole deal. Ceramics kiln. I do not despise that in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to plop it down right in the middle of the room, opposite the door. That's some spooky sounding stuff. I don't know what the deal is with the spooky noises, but it's there. I'm going to go with right there and there for some windows. Maybe do the same thing on this side and on this side. And get some windows in these places. Make them a little bit less terrifying and bad. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you next time with more Clockwork Empires. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will... See you later.